Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah and welcome back to the Faithful Path, where every Saturday I break down the connection between our daily lives and the beautiful religion of Islam, how they both have an impact on each other and discuss the issues we all have practicing our religion nowadays. So, without further ado, the podcast starts now. <laughs> Today, I want to talk about an interesting topic, our morning routine. Sometimes we don't know exactly what to do when we wake up or how we should plan our day. You know, some people have morning routines like waking up, eating breakfast, going to the gym, going to the work. But morning routine starts even before that, even before eating, even before going to the gym, before going to work. As soon as you wake up, there needs to be a morning routine to yourself. You need to have at least, at least one hour for yourself to focus on different aspects. And these different aspects are called savor. And this savor morning routine will save you from wasting time in the morning, from being tired, from having a lack of focus. And if every time you follow these savor steps, the rest of your day will be set. So let's dive in in the morning routine savor. The first letter is S. What is S? It's silence. You need, you need to start your day with some calmness and some clarity. Whether it's meditation, some deep breathing, some praying, closing your eyes and just being in a silent environment. Because this helps you reduce your stress. This helps you improve your focus. And it also enhances the tone of your day. Because, you know, for example, in the morning, we're so tired, we're so anxious, like we have just like an angry face, you know, like, like we don't want to talk to anyone, like we don't want to see anyone. And what happens during the day? We become so negative. We don't have this positive energy. That's why every single morning, before you start anything, you need silence. And just a side note for us Muslim, when I mean silence, I mean the Fajr prayer. And I'm telling you guys, one of the reasons Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prescribed us the Fajr prayer so we can be close to Him, but we can, but we can also have some silence, some serenity, some peace. Every time you pray Fajr, you just become so peaceful in your heart, in your mind, in your soul. That's what the Fajr prayer is for. It's to calm you, to relax you, to have a moment of gratitude, of peace with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, every time we wake up, we're so used to just going on our phone right away, open up TikTok, Instagram, looking at the messages, etc. And I'm one of you guys, and I still do it, but I try my best not to touch my phone. Because trust me guys, every time you look at your phone, as soon as you wake up, it's so, so bad for you. Because first of all, your eyes, like you just woke up and, you're, and you start looking at screens. This messes up your eyes and your brain needs some time to like refunction for the day. Even before sleeping, I don't know about you guys, but when I used to like just go on my phone before sleeping, you know, like five minutes before sleeping, scrolling on social media, I become so tired in the morning and I don't know why we're so like reliable to our phones before we sleep or after we wake up. That's why the first thing we should do is just be silent. Have some silence as soon as you wake up. Do some meditation. Go pray. Just do some deep breathing. And this takes at least 5 to 10 minutes maximum. So the first step of the morning routine is silence. The second letter is A, which is affirmation. Remember what I said about silence? When if you don't have a little bit of silence, you're going to be negative throughout the day. Well, affirmation, having positive beliefs. Recite some empowering statements for yourself. Always remember your goals, your beliefs, your motivation throughout the day. Because this improves your motivation, your confidence, your self-belief, your discipline. If you're negative with yourself, you're going to be negative with everyone around you. So being affirmative with yourself is being positive, is having some confidence. For example, saying that today will be a good day. And also affirmation is being grateful. Grateful for all the blessings you have. Grateful for waking up. Because some people sleep and they don't wake up. Be grateful 
that every day you have a new chance to improve on yourself. Every day is one step closer towards your goals, towards your dreams. Have some affirmation in the morning. Have some confidence in yourself that you're going to do good things today. And when you're being affirmative with yourself, believe me, trust me, guys, that throughout the day, nothing is ever going to bother you. And maybe you'll have an impact on the people around you because they're going to see that you're positive, you're happy, you're smiling. So this can impact them. Some people woke up like, you know, on a bad side or they didn't sleep well. But if you're affirmative with yourself, if you have some affirmation in the morning, this can totally change their mind. So the second step is having affirmation. The third letter is V or visualization. Visualization is literally preparing the whole day either in your mind or on a paper. Planning exactly what you're going to do today. For example, you wake up, you're going to eat, you're going to work, you're going to go to the gym, you're going to come back home, you're going to eat, you're going to study, sleep. This is visualization. Because sometimes we just wake up and we just improvise. We go to work, but then after work, we don't know what to do. We either go home or go to the gym. Like we doubt ourselves, like we, like we don't know what to do. We're not prepared for the day. That's why in the morning, it's so, so important to have a moment for visualization. And I encourage all of you that you visualize on a board or on a paper or on your phone. Just write everything you're going to do today because it improves so much your focus throughout the day. And also visualization is also being closer to your goals, being a step closer to your goals, to your dreams. What's something you can do today? that you didn't do yesterday or something you can do better? What can you improve on today to get closer to your goals, to have a better motivation, to be consistent, to be disciplined? How can you be mentally prepared? This is visualization. So plan out your day and visualize how are you going to achieve your goals today? The fourth letter is E, which is exercise. And by exercise, I don't mean going to the gym. By exercise, I mean any kind of physical activity, any kind, stretching, yoga, jogging, going for a walk, doing some push-ups, some sit-ups, some jumping jacks, some squats, any kind of physical activity. Why? To energize the body and the mind. Because we all know that when we wake up, we're dead. We're brain dead. Our body is dead. So we need to restart our body and our mind. We need to, like... Put some energy into our body and into our minds. And the only way to do that is by exercising. Even if you do 10 push-ups or 10 sit-ups, or if you do some stretching, some yoga, because it boosts your energy levels, it improves your health. Any kind of physical activity will wake you up in the morning. The reason why throughout the day you're so tired, you're so lazy, you want to take a nap, because in the morning you didn't exercise properly. You didn't do any kind of action to wake up your body, to wake up your mind. That's why physical activity in the morning is very crucial for your energy throughout the day. But you could also go to the gym if you have time, like before school, before work. But if you don't have enough time, at least do some physical activity at home. Just 5 to 10 minutes of exercise. Any kind of exercise. Like I said, anything that moves your body is an exercise. So don't forget to wake up your body and your mind before starting the day. And the last step for your morning routine is R, which is reading. You need to find a way, any way, to gain some knowledge, to gain some inspiration, whether it's through books, through articles, through YouTube, Spotify, podcast, the journal, paper, any kind of way to gain some knowledge, to seek knowledge for the day. Because first of all, it improves your knowledge, but also it's for creativity. It's for your growth. You know, if you learn something new every single morning, you're going to remember it throughout the whole day and for the future. So find any kind of material to improve your brain, to improve your mind, to work on that knowledge. And find any kind of way to find some inspiration. Because sometimes we read a lot of things on the internet or in books, but we lack inspiration. 
we need inspiration in the morning to be motivated. To be motivated to w- like to get up, to wake up, to go work, to go to the gym, to go to school, to study, etc. We need some inspiration. That's why in the morning it's very important to find this inspiration in any kind of way. And a side note for us Muslims, once again, the best way to read, of course, in the morning is the Quran. Because not only you gain some knowledge from the verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from his lessons, from his messages, you're also being close with him. You're also remembering him every single morning by reading his book. And by reading it, it calms you, it gives you serenity, it gives you peace for the day. That's why it's, it's important to find any kind of knowledge in the morning. Whether it's reading or listening to some educational videos or some podcast, etc. So the best morning routine is the saver. The first one, S, for silence. You need to find some silence as soon as you wake up. Stop looking at your phone when you wake up. Leave your phone alone. Be silent. Be in a silent environment. Find some peace through praying, through meditation, through deep breathing, any kind of way. So just be silent for 5-10 minutes. The second step is A for affirmation. Have some positive belief in the morning. Be confident that you're going to have a good day. Have this positive energy for yourself. to Be motivated to start your day. The third letter is V for visualization. Visualize your whole day in your mind or on a piece of paper. What are you going to do? What are the actions that you're going to take today? And when are you going to do them? Visualize how are you going to get closer to your goals, to your dreams. The fourth letter, E, for exercise. Try to find any kind of way to do some physical activity in the morning. To energize your body and your mind. To pump up your blood. Try to improve your health and your mind when you wake up in the morning. Whether it's doing push-ups, sit-ups, yoga, jogging, going for a walk, etc. Any kind of way to do some physical activity. To be energized throughout the day. And the last one are for reading, for seeking knowledge, whether it's in books, podcasts, YouTube, any kind of material to gain some knowledge and some inspiration, to be motivated to learn something new. This is what you have to do in the morning. This is how you start your morning. This is the best morning routine to have a good mindset, to have a good development to grow yourself, to be disciplined, and to be consistent. Before having breakfast, before going to work, before going to school, before even brushing your teeth, before doing anything, do the saver routine. Silence, affirmation, visualization, exercise, and reading. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, follow, and share. And I'll see you next week on The Faithful Path. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله